What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a build to hunt video where we make a slingshot and go hunting with it. For this build we're going to be using a guava tree fork, guava fruit. Um, it's perfect shape for a natural tree fork. Yeah, we're going to go do a dove hunt with it later, maybe sunset. Let's get started. finished the main part of this thing. I kind of messed it up already. I made the handle too short and we were going to glue another piece of wood onto it, but we're trying to get this done by tonight so we can do a sunset dove hunt. Then while I was sanding it, I had an idea that if I drilled a hole from the bottom all the way up to about here and put a cork in it, then we could store ammo inside the slingshot. So we found this cork. It's from an ocean vodka bottle. And I think we're gonna drill a hole in the back, stick this cork in and have a whole bunch of ammo storage up in the top. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we already messed the slingshot up a little bit. So we're gonna try it. Gonna lay it Good. We're gonna drill this right into the back so we can stick this cork in and then we're gonna match this to the handle. I guess we'll try it. Wait a sec, how am I gonna get that out? That's what I was wondering too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. We're gonna make the cork flush with the handle. But other than that, it fits pretty good. So now we got more room for ammo. Okay guys, we just finished matching the handle with the slingshot, or matching the end with the slingshot handle. Um, this is what the inside looks like. So we'll put ammo in there. Yeah, we're just gonna go test it and see how many pieces of ammo we can fit inside this slingshot. Got some ammo. Let's see if 20 works. Boom. Okay, you can fit 20 pieces of ammo in here with no rattle. 20 pieces of eight mil steel fit in this thing. So that's pretty good. Lived up to its expectations, and now we're gonna do the final sanding. It should be good to go. Good to hunt. This is a boiled linseed oil and beeswax paste. Um, same stuff that Chris from Catapult Carnage uses. The same recipe. I'm just gonna put some of this on. Give it a nice finish and also make it a little bit more durable. Just got done with this slingshot. Um, just got done buffing it. Looks pretty nice, nice and shiny. Uh, the guava wood looks really good too. Um, there's the storage on the inside. And yeah, if I had more time, I'd make this thing a lot nicer, but we're trying to get this done before sunset so we can put a good hunt in and hopefully get a bird with this. I'm gonna throw some bands on it, do some practice shots, and then we'll go up and hunt for sunset. Looks pretty good.
light. Just finished the slingshots, just got bands on it. Um, here's the rundown. Guava tree, tree fork wood, both sides. We sanded it to 2,500 grit, buffed it, and then put boiled linseed oil and beeswax paste on it. It's got a removable bottom with ammo in it. Holds 20 pieces of ammo if you're using nine and a half milliliter steel. Yeah, about that much, pretty good. All goes into that little hole and closes up. And we're gonna do a couple practice shots with it. I'm gonna grab our ammo out, put the cap back on, and this is gonna be the first shot with this thing. Okay, that was low. Oh, that was really close. Hi. It shoots pretty good, I just gotta get used to it. Uh, my shots are going all around the orange thing. Boom, there we go. If you're wondering, the bands we have right now are 20 to 12.7. Yeah, this thing shoots pretty good and it's pretty comfortable. Okay, North, the cameraman's gonna take a couple shots. That was pretty close. Okay, that was way off. <laughs> Don't put that one in the wood. Yeah. Okay, keep going, keep going. You're fine. Good job, North. That was perfect. That was dead center. You like it? It's amazing. Okay, don't put that one in the video either. <laughs> nice. And this is the size of the target we're shooting at. Oh, that was so close. That was close Just. too. Yeah. Good job. Perfect. You better than this one with than with your scout? Yeah. This one just has a really nice point. On yeah. It. Good aiming point. Oh, you nipped it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just got that. Got it. Got it. Nice. Okay guys, we're going to do some hunting. It's sunset right now. We got the slingshot that we just made. It's actually the next day. I came up here with North yesterday. We didn't even get a shot off. We didn't see many birds, but now I'm with Roan and we're gonna keep hunting. We've had a couple opportunities so far. Here's a slingshot. All I have with me is the slingshot, the ammo that's in it, my knife, and my GoPro. So we're using the ammo that's with the slingshot and I do have a couple extra pieces just in case we run out. But yeah, let's start hunting. Or keep hunting. Dude, this looks, this looks sick. This looks so awesome. That went in my butt. Oh, look, it went up my pants and just into my, oh. He's still there. After your scream. Dude, I do not have to know how far that is. No, don't, don't end, it's fine. Going. Honestly, I was aiming for 30, and I think that was more than 30. Okay. Dang it. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna take it out of the bottom anymore.
I don't see any. I hear them. Day three of hunting with the slingshot that we made. Um, today, I'm using nine and a half millimeter seal, switching it up a little bit so I can see where they're going if I miss. Um, I'm here with Gustavo today, and if we get something good, but if we don't, I'm just gonna have to end the video here because I don't have much time I'm leaving for spring break, so. This is the last day we can film. So yeah, we're just gonna kinda walk around up here, try to see if we can get a couple shots off on birds. We're gonna wait for a couple to come by, and we'll pick up the camera when we see one. Damn it, he flew. Wait a sec, there's still one in the next tree. Oh. Let's go. Dude, one down. Let's go, come here. Boom, there he is. Oh, let's go. <laughs> These are the zebra doves, so they're not the biggest, but they taste the best. I got him right, tip of the wing, went through, through his body right here, and I think it's still in, yeah, it's still inside. So there we go, that's the zebra dove with this slingshot that we made, with the built-in ammo, and that is the build to hunt video. That's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this build to hunt video. We ended up getting one zebra dove. It's already cleaned in my pouch. Um, yeah, let me know if you like this kind of video in the comments below. I definitely want to do more of this build to hunt. What else do I need to say? Oh, the zebra dove's not going to waste. We're going to eat it for breakfast or something. Um, I'll put a picture of it at the end of the video for proof. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you want to see another one. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.